Because this congresswoman is a wonderful human being, but, but, but when you disrespect Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want, I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just that, said that you weren't racist. Yes, that is complete no, You BS. don't have to intend racism no, to no, no, accomplish it. No, 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 you are it. intending that I am Your disrespect racist, of Kamala Harris that is, is part and parcel of a tradition. Why can't you just disrespect? Why can't you just, Congresswoman, why can't you just, I'm not calling you a racist, I'm saying, what the practice you are, is you are, you are. Why can't you just the so let me, let me, let me guess, disrespecting her? No, what's disgusting is your disgusting. disrespect of her. Professor, this gentleman said, you know what, I didn't know, what's know her name. Disgusting to women to do is it. her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if at 25 years ago, white I women became, don't have the ability to tell black women who who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years care ago, for your baby and 25 and years ago, I became the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. I fought my way through it to so pronounce her name blood, right. sweat, Let and me tears. So pronounce her name and right. And Kamala Harris, if Kamala, I were a man, I would you Nancy Nancy. Come on, you're doing this on purpose, Congresswoman. That's disrespectful. disrespectful. If, you can't if, expect people to respect your service if you don't respect her. If a man walked that stage 25 years ago, she would have said it. She would have taken that achievement away from women. That's disgusting. Uh, my colleagues across the aisle said that those that, that cannot pronounce Kamala's name correctly are elementary aged children. I would like to enter into the record an article by Newsweek saying Bill Clinton pronounces Kamala Harris name wrong during DNC speech. Bill Clinton along with Al Sharpton, rapper Lil Jon, let's not forget that Joe Biden can't say her name right, neither can Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, and this morning on Morning Joe, Joan Bias called her a camel. So I don't want to hear it. It's fake outrage. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. Ooh. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says order. I'm gorgeous and all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, one or the other. Oh, my God. <laughs> Caught your ass, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I caught your ass. <laughs> That's tough, bro. You let me down, man. I'm disappointed, man. I'm hurt, man.